How about some value here, though, dude? If everyone's going to be paying up for these high-priced players, looking at a guy like D'Angelo Russell, who is coming off a 42 DK point performance against the Kings just last night. So same matchup tonight. It's going to cost you 6-1. You like chasing him as a guy who will return the most value, or you fading him for someone else? D'Lo is a little risky to me. I'm not – I don't like the thought of playing him consistently. So I'm going to fade here, and I'm going to go with – a young man with the name of Jakar Sampson for $3,000, league minimum. Um, Sabonis so is out. Turner is out. We know that already. Goga, I guess, tweaked his ankle a little bit last game, and he is questionable. So there's going to be no center on that roster besides Jakar Sampson. Uh, they're playing OKC, who stinks. Uh, that both teams right now play no defense. The Pacers have given up 109, 129, 119, 124, 126 in the last five games in a row. So it's just going to be a bunch of run and gun, chucking up shots, and Jakar Sanson, I think, is going to get a lot of those minutes. All right, what do you think, Kenny? Well, there is a world where we can coexist, Ryan and I, with our picks, because I do like Goga Batadze at $4,200. I do think that he's going to play. Uh, it seemed like a minor injury last time out. The X-rays came back negative, of course. You know, whenever I'm recommending someone on the interview report, definitely check it out if you're listening to this later on in the day if he's actually going to play. But for me, it is impossible to pass up. As, as Ryan laid out, the matchup is great here against OKC. They don't have anybody down low, the Pacers, and Batadze should be locked in to like 30 minutes as long as he plays and he's healthy enough to, to play 30 minutes. He had 28 DK fantasy points in just 22 minutes last time out because he his night was cut short after 22 minutes. He still managed to have 28 DK FB. This guy has shown you what, you what he can do in limited action. And again, I just think that given the salary here, like you're pretty much guaranteed to get five times what you paid for Goga as long as he's on the floor and just OKC is sleepwalking on defense right now. So for me, he's my favorite value player of the night, but of course I'm going to make sure that he's actually going to play and he's not too limited.